What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I wanted to ask you guys a question How long should Cody Rhodes hold the WWE Championship? Now, I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking about this before he became champion, and now since he's been the champion, um, and we're going to see his first real title defense on television. Uh, I know he's been having his title defenses on the i believe they were doing like the european tour at the house shows so i know he's been defending it uh defending the championship there but we're gonna actually see it on television at uh the next pay-per-view uh backlash um versus aj styles which which i do think should be a great match and most likely he's going to retain it doesn't make sense for him to lose on his very first title reign uh it would kind of be a disservice to the story that they have been telling for the past couple of years with him so i do feel like he obviously will retain there but the question becomes how long does Cody hold the championship? Now, I've heard a few people say, well, not a few people, I've heard a lot of people say he should probably hold it to maybe SummerSlam. And to me, I feel like that's a little bit too short considering the run that he's been on, the story that they've been telling. You don't have a guy win back-to-back -back Royal Rumbles, main event, back-to-back -back WrestleManias to only hold the championship for a couple of months not even six months that you don't do that you know so i've also heard people say well if we're not going to do SummerSlam, maybe him dropping it at the end of the year and to those people i would still say no i would still say no um yes that's a little bit longer but i feel like once again the magnitude of this situation it wasn't that he just beat somebody that held the championship for like a year it was someone he he beat someone that had the had the championship for almost 1400 days he almost broke hulk hogan's record he's had the championship since 2020 think about that roman reigns had the championship since 2020 and we're in our early, you know, early parts of 2024, and he just finally dropped it. So I think even at the end of the year, I think that's still too short of a title reign. Now, I am one of the people that was maybe thinking, okay, well, you could possibly have him hold it all the way to next year's WrestleMania and maybe have him lose it next year. I was one of those people that was thinking maybe have him hold it for an entire year. All the way, which I, I don't think anyone would complain. I think that's uh, pretty serviceable. But I would have to really think about that, too, because it would be a nice thing to see Cody defend the championship at next year's WrestleMania and actually win it. Because we've seen Cody lose at WrestleMania. But it would be nice for him to go into WrestleMania as the champ and actually defend the championship and actually win it. Have that title defense win at WrestleMania. So he would have those back-to-back -back wins at WrestleMania. I think that would be a pretty cool thing. And then after that, you can ultimately drop it after that. You can have him drop it after that. I, would, I don't know when, but maybe past WrestleMania. I think that would be a serviceable situation. Now, granted, this all depends on the type of feuds he has, the type of matches that he has for the re remainder of this year going into next year. And that's what's going to really be telling. Do I feel like it can be sustained? Possibly. It can. But I also know we live in a time period where fans... <laughs> Fans, uh, they tend to uh, turn very quickly off of things they just they either get bored with or they're not as entertained with. And we all know the chase is always better. The chase will always be better. It's very hard to make a baby face who wins the title, keep the title and have the fans invested. It's always better when it's a heel. It is. So I don't know exactly what they do there, but me personally, if I had to choose over 360 days, over 360 days, I think that's a serviceable number. At least have him have that WrestleMania moment again and actually retain it 
actually retain the championship, I would be okay with that. Do I think a lot of people would be okay with that? No, I, there's already people saying this title reign is boring, blase, blase, and all this other stuff, and we're going to sit, sit up here and forget that Roman Reigns, usually when he won that WrestleMania, he disappeared. He wouldn't even at the Backlash shows. He wouldn't be at the Backlash show. So this is really an upgrade. We're actually getting the WWE Championship defended at a Backlash. Because usually when Roman wins at WrestleMania, he's going home for a vacay. So I will take that. And I love Roman Reigns and what he's done. But it's cool to have two champions defending their championships at these pay-per-views. I'm down for it. People are already complaining. I think people just want to complain just to complain. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 in the camp of at least having him hold the championship past WrestleMania, past 360, uh, 365 days, or past a year. And then at some point you may have him drop it. Because I feel like if he's gonna drop it, it needs to be at a big pay-per-view. It doesn't need to be at a backlash. Doesn't need to be at whatever other pay per view they come up with. I think it needs to be one of the big pay per views. Whether you have them do it at uh, a WrestleMania, which I wouldn't prefer, but if you're gonna have them do it, drop the title either a WrestleMania or SummerSlam, maybe a Survivor Series or something, something to that extent, or, or a major pay per view. You know, I wouldn't have him necessarily drop it. You know, even though they be level pay-per-views are, are pretty good you know sometimes how they build up the cards and stuff i wouldn't have them drop it in those situations it needs to be a a, a big pay-per-view it needs to be someone that we feel like would make sense and honestly depending on who it is and whether they're heel or face i obviously i, I do think it needs to be a heel a heel that they plan on pushing as a very big threat because this is the guy that beat Roman Reigns so you gotta protect him that's the only thing that I want them to do and the best way to protect him is to make sure that he has a good lengthy title reign that had some great matches you know great back and forth great feuds and he can do that they can do that they have so many opportunities I'm really looking forward to what they do with him and Randy Orton I know they gotta have that match him and Randy Orton for the WWE Championship and have them have a few matches out of that. They need that. That needs to be one of the top priority feuds because you know that's going to cook. That's going to be great. So um, we will see how this plans out. But comment down below. Let me know. How long do y'all think Cody should hold the championship? Me, I'm saying nothing less than 365 days. Honestly, past WrestleMania next year. But what, how do y'all feel about it? Let me know how long should he hold the championship. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still getting the speed of YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.